if this is your first time joining in and you haven't heard the news up until now, is that we are kind of in a phase of development where we are working on the next iteration of the game. And we don't really have anything to share yet. We don't have any news or any like timeline that we're aiming for right now. Because while we're working on the game, we're also kind of trying to figure out what we're going to do with the game. The thing right now, guys, is a little bit different compared to how it's been in the past. You know, when we've been in between updates and we're like trying like, okay, what's the next step? Like, the thing is, we always have, you know, 1.0 at the horizon. And that's been the case since the very start, right? But I think we've shifted a little bit more towards like actually thinking about what does an 1.0 release mean for us. And like I said, we don't have anything to share really right now, but you know, we are trying to figure out if, you know, doing a new update makes sense for us or if we should do smaller updates or if we do, you know, change it around a little bit and don't do like proper updates anymore. We don't know. Like. There might be an update 6, there might not be an update 6, maybe we'll do a smaller update, I don't know. There might not be an update 6, maybe we'll do a smaller update, I don't know. We haven't decided yet, that's kind of what we're trying to figure out, and that's what we've been trying to figure out for a long time now. Um, so, what, I'm, what I kind of wanted to say with this is like, our main emphasis has been that we were looking towards the future, we're trying to try and figure out what we're going to do for this year, and I know it, we're already into March, um, and it's been like three months of us trying to figure out what to do. Um, but this is a this is a tricky making games is tricky um, and uh, we want to try and strike a balance between like what makes sense for the game as a whole but also what makes sense for you guys what makes sense for us in October update 5 was released and for a lot of the community we were stunned at all the new options added but this also left a fair portion of the community wanting more such as new production machines and I along with many others hoped update 6 would bring more production lines however over the past few months we've been informed that they're focusing on what update 6 means for Coffee Stain, and whether going down the route of releasing incremental updates was best for them, or perhaps pushing for 1.0, or even releasing many smaller updates is actually a better option for them. Though this was recently announced in their weekly dev stream, which you can watch on a Tuesday, uh, it has actually been mentioned in prior streams as well, and even was brought up in a recent article by Gamerant that they have, and I'm paraphrasing here, a struggle between creating content and rounding that content off to become 1.0. And I think this is because there is a huge scope of things that Satisfactory can add, and they always go above and beyond with these updates. This has been great for them when it comes to selling more games, but, and it's a big but, the CEO Hannah mentioned that it feels like they're running a marathon and moving the goalposts, and that does drain on the morale of the development team, and that's something we don't want. So in some ways I can fully see why they may choose to scrap big updates and push either smaller updates like Snup mentioned or even strive to just get 1.0 out. After all, the last thing that you want is to have your developers run out of passion for the game, as this will translate to a passionless game. Not that I could ever see satisfactory ever become a passionless game, after all it has had such a strong uh, start such a strong development and I'll be honest and say that from my own perspective and that is having no understanding whatsoever about game development and the process that it takes to go from early access to 1.0 that I personally would love to see more large updates like update 6. I mean it was even predicted by many that update 10 would be 1.0 and I thought that would be incredible, but I see exactly where they're coming from and I am by no means attacking Coffee Stain for bringing up their thought process. If anything, I appreciate them for being so open and clear, it's what makes this community so great. And even in their recent video on what Satisfactory is or isn't for them was incredibly enlightening and in some ways brave telling the community what they won't be adding to the game. But they still have a lot of gaps in the content that's required for 1.0. Obviously there's the storyline, we also have bugs in both single player and multiplayer. There's the quantum computers and superposition oscillators which we know very little about as well as the SAM or. 
and also the extent in which the Mercer Spheres and the Summer Sloop affect the storyline. There's also the map updates as well as the changes to water physics, which have been hinted at in the previous video, as well as extra gases, priority power switches, and no doubt a few more things. Like, it really does seem like quite a, a large push to go straight for 1.0. And lots of small updates may not see the player numbers return, making it less likely for Satisfactory to reach new players. Which would be a shame given that Coffee Stain are doing an incredible job at cultivating the best community in gaming that I have ever been part of and feel so honoured to be part of. Regardless though of which route they choose to go down, I know that they'll do an incredible job. But let's open this discussion up to everyone. What do you all think? Would you prefer a push to 1.0? And I should mention, I'm paraphrasing again from Hannah, 1.0 doesn't necessarily mean the end of content for Satisfactory. 1.0 is about rounding off things in a good way. So there is definitely the suggestion there that we may see further updates after 1.0, or better yet, once the team has had a chance to breathe, maybe a return to Satisfactory with some DLC. It's also worth mentioning that despite the list of things that I've mentioned which have been planned for the game for 1.0, there's no reason why they can't hold some of those back as mini-updates for after 1.0, meaning that they don't have to rush everything out. But I do feel that 1.0 does need to stand out from Update 5, and perhaps more importantly is not just that 1.0 is its own freestanding update, but that it brings the same buzz and hype that all previous updates have brought the game. After all, each update has added such a huge amount to the game, and has been game-changing content. With Update 2, we had trains and nuclear power. Update 3, we had liquids. Update 4, gases and the hydrogen colliders. Update 5, bringing a huge bundle of quality life changes, as well as signaling and a renovation to assets for factory design. At the very least, 1.0 needs to be on par, but ideally even better because Coffee Stain has set the bar so high when it comes to these updates. But that is for a future discussion. Now if you guys found this video interesting and want to keep up to date with satisfactory news, remember to subscribe, and if you enjoyed my thoughts, make sure to hit the thumbs up. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to all of our amazing patrons, most notably our Solo Eclipse patrons The Calamity, Cerebral Tag, James Irwin, and Jerry2, as well as our Lunars, Dixie Chris, Lord of July, and Ben, and our Blood Moon, Papa Snoozy. Anyway guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now.